let's continue our exploration of turtle spaces. I've just released the Kraken. I think that's how I pronounce it, but uh, look at this very um, interesting design created very simply. And it looks like an octopus. And uh, let's look at the source code. To Kraken, clear screen. Okay, it has cylinders and it's repeating, setting a rope width and uh, just uh, moving right, rep count over three. So just little small moves and a little roll and uh, that's all it is for each tentacle. And then we have Snappy, the um, camera. And then there's a new worker that's doing the orbit by uh, 0.01. So it's very nice uh, that you could just um, program this way with uh, make it multi threading and camera positioning very easy. And let's see. So this is a variable called twist. And um, it's using twist over here to roll right twist over four. And uncomment one of the above lines to twist the tentacles. Yeah, I think I was playing with that. I, I did this roll right here. Okay, let's look at a lamp and a teapot. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. Okay, so uh, this is like uh, the movie um, Beauty and the Beast. How do you create a lamp and a teapot? So I'm rotating it by holding down my left mouse button and I just moved right and moved left. And now I'll move the, hold down the right mouse button and I'm zooming out and in. So it takes some practice to get used to this, but uh, there's a little sphere in there. And uh, the code should be pretty straightforward. How to make a lamp. And uh, yeah, cylinders, spheres, a cut spheroid for a teapot. And cylindroids, cylindroid arcs. Okay. So when you look at source code, you like try to get an overview of what it's doing, internalize what you think it might be uh, doing. And then it usually takes um, digging in and tracing it step by step. Like, uh, so here's teapot and then lamp. So, and then there's an orbit. So um, yeah, you then go back into teapot. And yeah, so teapot is this, um, what we saw first, it was drawing each part of it. And, and then you're seeing it, it's great to have 3D objects like a toroid, torus, spheroids. Okay. Okay, how about some lightning? Okay, isn't this cool? Now where's the lightning coming from? Yeah, you could see Myrtle generating lightning <laughs> and orbiting around what? A, a red dwarf <laughs> or a red giant? <laughs> Can we zoom in? Yeah, we zoom in. <laughs> yeah, make it a red giant. <laughs> okay. Oh no. <laughs> it could go, the lightning can strike the sun. Uh-oh. <laughs> It's our magnetic field that protects us from the sun's radiation. Always be thankful of uh, magnetic fields. <laughs> okay, Ed, look how simple that is. To lightning orbit. Okay, tether, pull out, make vec. Let's see, how do I move right? Let me just click and move. If I move left, no. I have to go control tab. Okay. So when you're programming, you don't want to put everything on one line. <laughs> Let's see. So here you scroll. 
pen up orbit vector, clean PD, no render. HTML can be put all on one line. <laughs> yeah, we used to have one liner contests, one line of Applesoft <laughs> or two line contests from the Beagle Brothers days. And I was recently looking at some Beagle Brothers ads. Okay, control shift Q. Okay, logo. I do not know how to load. <laughs> I hit the slash key as it was typing, so it has some interrupt in there. Let's see, logo, logo. Oh, cute. Spinning Myrtle. Okay, add that. Marco Polo to sequence hatchlings. Hmm. Okay, when Marco Polo, wait until Myrtle calls Marco on me. Mimic Myrtle, Tandem Myrtle, Polo Myrtle. Wow. Okay, this is some kind of recursion. For each hatchling. Okay, there's some multi-threading recursion going on here. That would give me hours of fun to go into and figure out. Marco Hatch Dance. <laughs> okay. One liners. Okay, what do we got here? Rainbow speckle wheel. Uh, art. And a thingy. That's still doing art. And a thingy, <laughs> one thingy. Let's do like forward fifth 100 thingy. Okay. A speckle wheel. So you have some variables, size, angle, and number using random numbers. And do while C1 equals C2. Make C2 one plus random. Okay. Speckle colors, pick your speckle size, repeat, and your rainbow speckle wheel. So wait a minute. Rainbow, oh, speckle wheel and a rainbow speckle wheel with multiple colors. Okay. And let's see here. Rope bowl, poly target, shell two. Let's see what a rope bowl looks like. Slinky donut. Taurus shell, bowl, sun fragment. Oh, I bet there's a lot of fun stuff in here. Yeah, let's see, like a tree 3D, tetra tree. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It's a tetrahedron, oh, tetrahedron tree. That is nice. Okay, uh, let's see, like, what's the difference? Okay, tree 3D is a flat um, rectangular tree. So what I like is uh, you can experiment in 3D this easily and yeah, just understand, look, it's a triangle and uh, these pyramids are triangular pyramids, which are tetrahedrons. There's four equilateral triangles. A four-sided pyramid. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, so we just created a four-sided pyramid, yeah, a square and three and four tri, wait a minute, one, two, three, four, yeah, four triangles to make a uh, four-sided pyramid. So then we could do like a forward 25, pyramid 40. Forward 20. Yeah, so just experimenting like this is uh, just uh, helping uh, people get oriented. Okay. What else? Cone tree, pyramid tree, tetra tree. Yep. Holy bull, thingy one. <laughs> 
Umbrella. Let's see, umbrella and furry duck. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at that. Okay. So I'm singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm happy again. And what was the furry thing? Furry duck. <laughs> I am a furry duckling. Okay. Yeah, you're a swan. <laughs> With an orange bottom. <laughs> so these are not apple colors. <laughs> they're, well, they're Mac colors. Uh, RGB colors, but they're 3D. Look at those voxels. Yep. Okay. Anything else we want to quickly look at? Uh, rope bowl. So you hit tab when you want to do the completion. Okay, so we just made a nice uh, work of art here. And it would be cool to 3D print this. Is it a ball or a bowl? I'm trying to zoom out here. Mm -hmm. I can't zoom. Oh, there we go. Okay. Got to get used to the OpenGL mouse movements. Okay, so I could zoom out and rotate. Now it's a bowl. So to 3D print something like this, you'd have to export this to an STL file, and you'd need uh, the logic to um, create the STL objects in a way that a 3D printer could deposit the material exactly where you want it. Now, it would be interesting because something like this, when it, if, say, it deposited the bottom, it has to slightly stagger. So they may use a material that you'd wash off in water afterwards so that it can have structure while it's in the material and then the little pieces in the middle will come out. So I did a 3D print that I downloaded from NASA of the uh, Cassiopeia A, which is a, um, it, it is a supernova remnant, a dead star, and uh, based on radio telescope imagery from the Spitzer telescope, they were able to get the whole structure of that uh, supernova and um, create a 3D model of it. And what's great about it is like you could just hold it in your hand. You're holding a star, a dead star in your hand. Okay, that's uh, searchable on NASA's website. All right. Okay, Palm Island. Oh, I could just click, isn't that nice? Okay, let's party. <laughs> awesome. Oh, something's landing. Okay, can I roll around and see? Zoom in. We have fireworks. Let's go. Oh, cool. Myrtle launching fireworks. Oh, Louis. All right, I've zoomed in too much. I'm trying to zoom out. There we go. Now, what's interesting is it looks like the code ended. So there is a thread running in the background that is creating these events to launch. OK, so, oh boy, how did we do that? Let's see. Palm trees, tube arc slice, cut cone. OK, so if you get an ice cream cone and you cut it, all right, spheroid domoid. I wish I was a kid again so I could learn all this. <laughs> Fireworks, forward vector, forward direction, gravity simulation. Ooh. Yeah, we need artificial gravity 
when we're in our intergenerational spaceships and we have to leave Earth and travel for generations to get to another star system, unless we have Zephram Cochran, um, in somebody in uh, Montana who can create warp drive for us. Dawdle. <laughs> I love that. Wait for all children to die. Oh no, this is terrible. I can't scream this. <laughs> all right. Cat. All right. Palm Island. Well, that explains it. <laughs> planet rescue. All right. Make planet. I do not know how to make planet. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Start to game, okay. Okay, what is this game? Planet Rescue, move with I, J, K, L, fire with space, jump with A, change view with V. Here we go. Jump A. Trying to rescue the planet here. Hello. Shooting in the wind. V, change my view. Oh, that's easier. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, let's crash into a starship. <laughs> Myrtle can pass through starships. How nice. Let's zoom out. What's up there? We got space planes. All right, switch view. Oh no, a Borg! The Borg have taken over. <laughs> Myrtle's up there. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is a work of art. Alien new worker. <laughs> This is hours and hours of coding, I bet. But I love the noise, the sounds. So game programmers, learn how to program games from Myrtle. Myrtle is so willing to teach you everything she knows. Astronaut destroyed. <laughs> okay, so this thing, of all these brackets, it's like uh, the devil's tail. <laughs> All right. So if you go into business, you'll learn not to do that. But for going games and you understand your code, have at it. All right. Let's see here. Um, cat. Okay. Racetrack. Okay, so I got into a low res mode, it seems. That's nice. Uh, marble. No such image. Yeah, let's see if this is what happens when you run things without understanding them. So you want to go to Ed and see what to do to track to start. Oh boy, gotcha. What do I use? IJKL? Yeah. Oh no, Myrtle! Help! Help Myrtle! Oh no, I can't help Myrtle! Help me! The world's upside down! Help! The sky is falling! Ah! There's hours of fun in this box. All right. Even if you don't program it, just playing around with the stuff. Okay. Seymour's garden. Okay. Now it would be nice like if you could define a word that executes after you run it. So you could just auto start these. Might be a nice enhancement. Right, let's see garden. Yeah, you know, like if you could define garden as the uh, execution word. Okay, Seymour's Garden. Mm -hmm. It's 
So we have multi-threaded turtles. So I'm not sure if there's uh, anything that could be done to increase the speed of this drawing, if it's um, CPU dependent or um, I'm not sure exactly how on the Mac it's programmed. But pretty cool. So it's just repeating the same code in different places with different colors. So it should be pretty straightforward. And it's using simple shapes like sawtooth patterns. And now that, that's cool. Rotating the pinwheels like that. Um, yeah. So on ancient systems, that would be difficult because that'd be a lot of memory moves and swapping images. But uh, with vectors and whatever coordinate systems you're using here. Yeah, with the multi-threading. So it's fascinating to try to go through that and see how is it doing that rotation relative to the other, to the, your, um, your stem. So it's rotating each one relative to each stem, but the orbit is taking care of all the background transformation. So it's probably generating frames of animation to, to actually accomplish this and then getting a frame rate. Okay. Okay, Seymour. Suddenly, Seymour. Okay. Pipes indicate a long word. Okay, lowers the turtle like in an elevator. Oh, we're going to talk about Einstein's elevator experiment, huh? Acceleration where you don't feel it. If your elevator's falling at the speed of gravity, you'd float. <laughs> Okay, plenty to read. Hatchlings do not inherit the turtle model. Flower puts the first parameter into a container called size. Okay. Advisor activities carry out their activities before the plans or activities that call on them. And then their advice is what is passed on, not the names of the activities themselves, nor expressions as a whole. Okay, that's important. Forever. Mm -hmm. Pass to hatch. So that's how flowers hatch. Orbit garden. I'm just amazed. Just in awe. <laughs> Rat size. <laughs> That's how you get rid of rats? Okay. <laughs> Set pen color. All right, random pen color. So this is interesting, right? 360 divided by petals. So if you have four petals, 360 over four, uh, 90. Yeah, so 360 is a nice round number. Could be divided in many ways. Okay, wait for a length of time specified in sixtieths of a second. Okay. So 60 frames per second it could be trying to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's snake about? So I'm always going to do Ed and look at the top to snake. Alternative method. I go snake one, snake 3D. Okay, let's play. It's a snake game. Okay, I, J, K, L. Oops. Oh, okay. It's wrap around. I, J, K, M. Let's see, K, M, no, L, I, J, K, H, help. 
I'm trying to eat my apple here. I missed it. If the okay, is it left right? Yeah, JK left left. Okay, left and then right, right, right. Yay! Uh, I should read the instructions. Vita switch view. Okay, now let's try to 3D. Nice. Yum. Yum. And then crash into myself. <laughs> so collision detection. Let's switch the view back because I want to know, can I crash into myself? Ouch! That hurt. Okay. Mm. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Okay. I have to zoom out a little, I bet. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> okay. Every snowflake is unique. It's ice crystals. So depending on your initial conditions for your water molecules and where they are, you're going to get different snowflakes. Isn't that that's so pretty? Oh, that's a nice one. So you got different types of flakes. That's what you're defining here very simply. So SF, number and length. Okay, picking the number, number forward, length, point, length, back, length, right, number, repeat five forward, spot, back. Okay. Snappy. Drops an anchor and rotates that way. Okay, pen down, set pen width, repeat 100. So we get 100 snowflakes, it looks like. Count them.